Fish on! Fish on! Yeah, they're taking no time. Let me guess. Let me guess. You're it's using one of them. Big, but it's a fish. Whoa, it it's a blast small of smallmouth bass, baby. Uh-oh. Yes! Oh, looky there. Tell me, That's Gary. That's what them what things look like. you call that pretty thing in his mouth? Nice little dancing Ned. Nice. You know anybody who makes those? I don't know. I might know somebody. Yeah, I am out here. Let me wipe that off with the owner of Butcher's, Butcher's Baits out of Michigan. And we are going to have a blast with smallmouth bass. But ladies and gentlemen, the water temperature is only 38 degrees. But we don't care. I said on a previous video, it is nice to be with people who make tackle but also fish and die hard condition. Big fall shad. This is exactly what you're looking for. And there was a bass. You can see right Right there, bass kind of hanging out underneath of it. You find a shad, you're gonna find some bass. I flip to it. There we go. It can be done. Having a blast with smallmouth bass. Now we got fish on Ned Rig. No, no, you don't call that it. What do you call that, Bay Gary? Dancing Ned. Dancing Ned. There are links to everything we're using down below. And here we are on a blade bait, a silver one. Uh, we've seen fish on the graph, lots of fish on the graph, and they are right on the bottom. So I've got I've got the trolling motor on spot lock, keeping it in place. See right there, there's there's some fish there. It's like a school of probably bait. You see where the trolling motor is facing though, so out to the right. Get right here in the center, move for us. These are little bass. I mean we're 24 foot deep here. Those are bass moving around. It is not a very fast bite today. Being winter in a, in a water temp, you can see the water temp is very cold. It's very set, very poor to keep the baits right down in front of them. Oh my goodness. There we go. Get it good. It's a small mouth and it's on the A rig. Ain't not very big, is he? <laughs> but I gotta show you what I found on my graph. Tons of fish out there in deeper water. Tons of fish. And I'm in 20 some odd foot of water, and this is what I'm seeing right there. So I threw it through that. There's a big bait, a oh, big, excuse me, ball of shad and bass through there. There's another A rig fish. Yes, sir. He's a little tiny tyke. Woo! It helps knowing where fish winter at, where we are. And I know that because of experience here in the past. Fish tend to winter in the same spots year in and year out. Then once we got those areas, use the electronics to pinpoint where to cast, where those fish are and how to present our baits. We're seeing, we're seeing this under there. That's gotta be a bass underneath that bait. See where that trolling motor's pointing. And now look all that down there. Now we've been spot we've been spot locked here for I don't know 30 minutes and it hadn't shown that. So the myth that fish don't move in the wintertime is nothing more than a myth, and that's proof of it. Because where were those fish 30 minutes before we got here? I don't know, but they weren't there. Fish do move. I do think they tend to stay in the same area, but they will move around. All the tackle Gary and I are using today is in the description. Of course, we got Yoda's rods here, which really help out, but also we need some help besides that. We do. See, Gary and I, we're good looking, fun, funny, charismatic people, but we don't have a lot of followers on Instagram. Please, look us up on Instagram. Don't even look up. Just go down below in the description. You're going to see things like promo codes, links to everything we're using, but also links to our social media. Check us out. Please give us a follow and a like. Yeah. Yeah, cute little guy. Small my bass and blade bait. Have it all for a second? Yeah, just a split second. Alright. There's another blade bait fish. Oh. But fun during the winter, Gary. <laughs> there you go. Just having fun. Having a blast with some my bass. You know, fishing with Gary is 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 how I say this. You're a jovial guy, Gary. It's almost it's Christmas time. We got a jolly man here, but he's also a little on the nutty side, which is probably why I like him. And let me explain nutty. 
I got up at 6 30 this morning, sent him a text, I'm gonna go fishing. And I actually wrote to him, are you up? And he wrote back, I've been up since 3.30. 3.30, doing what? Doing what? Making baits. Yes, I got a smorgasbord of baits, but I really liked his answer. Gary, what in the world are you doing up at 3.30 in the morning making baits? What are you doing? Why do you do that? I just, I love doing it. If you can't get up by 1.30, 2 o'clock on the weekends, there's just no sense in sleeping in when you got something that you like to do. And this is coming from the, the nut who's fishing out here in the snow. And see the snow out here? See, that's what I'm talking about. You think about tackle companies, where you get your tackle from, you should make sure they are fishermen themselves. Gary's one. Die hard. Die hard. So wives kind of think we're on the crazy side or dumb side, but I mean, who, this is Mitch. who's paying attention to them anyway? Ooh, having a blast with a smallmouth bass. A little guy, but he's cute. He's fun. He's December 18th. Smallmouth bass. Again, that blade bait we really fine tune is what the best bait is to throw today. Got some on the A rig. Got Got one right away, Gary did on his dancing Ned. But this just seems to be the best presentation. Put that down in front of him. That dancing Ned, Gary, don't tell anybody about that thing. Don't sell it to anybody. You got it? You can see they're actually moving. They're actually moving right up under the boat. See them move. See them moving like that. Look at them swimming. And they've actually, yeah, they're coming right up underneath of us. So now they're swimming away from us. Smallmouth bass. Smallmouth bass. See up. Uh, Working blade baits really comes down to the accent you give them, and I'll be first to admit that it is necessary to mix it up. Sometimes they want a very aggressive hop, consistent hop, hop of three, four, even five foot off the bottom. That is not the case today. Today they want very, not very big hops, but a long pause in between. Several of the fish, actually most of the fish we're catching, is when that bait's been sitting on the bottom for one to three seconds, we lift up and they're on. Go again, Gary. Nice. Yeah, I don't know any better. I felt that feels a little bit better. Yeah. Nice. He loves it better. He's a chunky. There you go. So the fish nice. eat in the winter. Look at the belly. Look at the belly. You can't tell me this sucker hasn't been eaten. Let's see those fish there. Now let's see. Keep going forward, trolling water. And there they start showing up. Right underneath us. So using using hummingbird and live scope together to find fish here in the winter time more importantly to have a blast with smallmouth bass no it is look at a rod bending yeah he's a fighter he's a fighter yeah that's swing on uh oh he's in my a right now <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Gary, you got to say those magical words now. Sam, what are you having? Yeah, having a blast with smallmouth bass. Yeah, that's it. Right here in December. Mm -hmm. Just a little tiker, but he works for a day like this. I'll tell you what, every single person who was on their couch on the 7th, 7th, 18th didn't catch that, did they? <laughs>